Hey Photoshoppers, in this video I'm going to go over the Marquee Tools for Photoshop CS5. The Marquee Tool is effectively a masking tool. Masking means you make a selection, and that selection allows you to make changes only to the area you have chosen and isolates the rest of the image from being changed. In other words, it masks it. This is a very powerful tool with a lot of uses, so let's get right to it. After selecting the Elliptical Marquee Tool, you can click and drag on your image to make a selection. The selection will be in the form of moving pixels that form a rectangle. You can also make selections in an elliptical or circular fashion. Both have different uses for different purposes, which I'm sure you can think of as you get to know the program better. Now while it may seem like this tool is limited, there are tons of possibilities that are hidden from easy view. I'll go through each of them with you. So if you want to access these tools quickly, press the M key. That will give you the marquee tool. To access the other tools, press and hold shift, then press M to cycle through your options. Clicking and dragging will give you a rectangle, but it is very difficult to make a perfect square. To do this, hold down shift, then click and drag. To create a marquee from the center of your cursor that expands out, hold down Option for the Mac or Alt for the PC, then click and drag. To do both, hold down Shift, then Alt, then click and drag. One thing to keep in mind is when you are done making your selection, let go of the mouse button first. If you let go of the keyboard controls first, the option will revert back to the original marquee mode and you'll have to start again. Now let's say you want to make more than one selection. It's pretty simple. When you let go of the selection, press and hold Shift, then click and drag in another area of your image. When you let go, both selections will remain on the image. A slightly tricky maneuver is using the different options for building marquees while keeping the originals. Here's how. While clicking and dragging your selection, let go of the Shift or Alt key while still holding down the mouse button. Then press and hold that key again and you have the same ability without losing anything. Now let's take it to the next level and combine two different marquees. This is pretty simple. Press and hold Shift and click and drag over another marquee. When you let go of the mouse, they will automatically combine. Now let's say you wanted to take off a piece of the marquee. Press and hold the Option or Alt key and click and drag over one of the marquees. When you let go, it will be subtracted. One little thing to note is like every other action, it can be undone. Don't panic if your twitchy finger accidentally presses outside the marquee and you lose everything. Move your mouse to the top menus and press edit, then press undo, or press and hold command or control and press Z. See? You're fine. When you are done with a marquee, you can do all kinds of things. You can invert your selection to edit everything around it. You can paint inside the selection without affecting what's outside of it. You can fill it, cut it out, copy it, make a new layer out of it. There's lots and lots of stuff you can do. For a few direct options, right click or control click on a Mac inside the marquee and you'll get a few. I would encourage you to try different things. It's a really simple tool, but as you can see, its potential is limited only to the program itself. Thanks for watching, and please send any requests or questions to requests at mahalo.com, and be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe below.